So in our previous video, we got all our database ready, all our tables are now migrated, and we have put some dummy data in those tables. So this is gonna be a short video. I'm just gonna create some little helper functions on the app user model, and this will help us get the roles of a user and also check if they have a certain role. We're gonna create a public function and we're gonna call this has any roles. And we're gonna pass in the roles. We're gonna return null if this user, and we're gonna call our roles belongs to many method. And we're gonna say where in name roles so how this works is we're going to pass in an array of roles and then we're going to get this current user model we're going to check our belongs to many relationship and we want to see whether any of our roles are in the name column on the roles table i'm just going to make a modification to this and put first on the end so the reason for this is as long as they've got one of the roles we want to return true on this so for the second function, I'm going to do something very similar. So let's just copy and paste this down. And all I'm going to do here is change this from has any roles to has role. And we're going to change where into where, and obviously change that to role. So I'm going to do something similar to the above, uh, but this time I'm going to call it has any role. And we're just going to pass it in a string. And instead of where in, we're just going to do a where. And what we're doing here is, this is just to pass one single role in. So for the has any roles where we're passing in an array, we can say if the user is an admin or an author, then that's okay. But if this one has any role, we could be saying if the user is an admin. So if they're an author or a, a generic user, then um, they wouldn't pass this test. So in the next video, we're going to list out our users to the admin, and we're going to be using our new methods to make sure only the admin can view all users.